In this video, we're going to focus on how we can create a bar chart and a line chart, or basically a combo bar chart, where we make sure that the line is always on top compared to the bar chart here. So it will not be behind it or the bars will not overlap the line here. So there's basically two ways to do it. I'm going to show you both ways. So let's start to look how to place the line on top in a combo bar line chart in Chart.js. So the first thing what I want is of course to go to chartjs3.com getting started, this specific link here. And this link you can also find in the description box. Scroll down and then eventually I want to copy this entire chunk of code here. Copy this. And if you want to understand what this code does, make sure you watch this video here. So then I will just paste it all in there. And once I did that, I will cut out the title here. Just put that in there, save it refresh and there we are so now we have this what i want to do of course is to create a combo uh combo bar line chart so we have here one this is the bar chart so what i'm going to do is i'm going to duplicate this copy this i'm going to come out here paste that in there and then i'll just give this a individual color so that will be a black color and the border width can just be like that all right and this will be the black sales make sure you have some different numbers here nine i'll just put it all nine so it's easy to spot save that refresh so now we have this but this is a bar still so what i'm going to do here is i'm going to say comma because there's a comma already i'm going to say a type and this type will be a line save that refresh there we are so now we have this line but if you look very carefully it is at the back and we will notice that immediately if we will just duplicate this make it solid in here save that refresh as you can see here so how do we control that well basically we can do here comma and go to see order and order is a command that allows you to control this item so what we're going to do here is we're going to say order number two and how the values work is exactly in the rever reverse order let's say number one is like the gold position just think like the olympics number one is the gold position number two is silver and number three would be the bronze so that will mean that the lowest value will have the highest priority so i'm going to copy this here put it in here but then i'm going to say here this is number one which means the gold position and this is silver so if i save this now and i refresh as you can see here now we have this line here and it shows you here exactly on top so there's another way to do that if you don't want to do like this i'm going to show you is basically to change the type here of this you can assign it here above putting in here so let's say here i'm going to say type will be bar quotation here and i make sure you have a comma there and then i'm going to delete this type here if i save this refresh nothing really happens here yet but then i'm going to cut out this item put that away the comma and then move it up here so basically what i'm saying now is instead of making a bar chart as default it becomes a line chart because they would take, grab this as the default so refresh here and there you are you can see here now the priority of the line is first because it is the first one in here to draw and then the second will be the bar but i would recommend to use the order where you can control it exactly the way you want so if you enjoyed this video and maybe you want to know even more because for example there's a way to put in let's say a scale here on the other side i have another one here on how to show a two scale in a bar line combo chart in chart.js yes, which i highly recommend as well if you want to make it far more complex and uh, have different values for the line compared to the bar chart for example